Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive. I'm out on the range today, and this is like part two uh, with a video that we did the other day. Tac Pack sent me out some high value AR gear. I basically took a bog standard AR-15 and set it up with the gear that they, uh, that they sent me. So now we're back and in classic Navy fashion, we'll go tip to butt. All right, so from the tip here, we have a flash hider. Fixed front sight didn't come with it, but I like having a fixed front sight on my gun, so I did it anyway. The free flow to front end came in the kit. Same with this little miniaturized, you know, vertical foregrip that's kind of just a nub. The Swamp Fox red dot, that was the, the jewel in the kit. We move back here, Reptilia makes this cool uh, quick release. M-lock socket and put on there and good old blue force sling. Moving back here, there's a ambidextrous safety. I honestly might take the ambidextrous side off just because it kind of bumps into my finger just the way I hold the gun. So, but it's removable, so I think I'm gonna remove that. And then there's the uh, trigger guard. Uh, this one's slightly, uh, you know, it's, it's stylish. Get my big sausage fingers in there, a little more room and then the uh, the Reptilia grip. Uh, it also came with the uh, ambidextrous charging handle. Uh, you can't see it, but there's a uh, braided uh, buffer spring in here, and then the, your uh, Lothar buttstock. That came with some more accoutrements on there, but I pulled that off, the, the cheek riser off, just to make it a little bit lighter. That's what I put together, and now we're gonna shoot it for a little bit. All right, got her sighted in. Let's see what she does. The grip angle on this is actually much better than your standard AR. Just, you know, allows me to keep my wrist a little bit straighter and not get all kinked up. I wasn't quite sure about this uh, ambidextrous safety lever, but I actually kind of like that because coming off the gun, rather than working, trying to work the safety over here, I just curl my hand back and kind of grab onto that. That's not too bad. And it's not hitting uh, my finger as much as I thought it was going to. This muzzle brake's actually pretty good. It's working, kind of keeping some of the uh, the blast down. The recoil's nice and sharp, no problems. So I, I really like the uh, forehand here from Bad. I mean, this is a standard government profile barrel, so it's not the lightest thing in the world, but by lightening up that front end, it allows me to swing the gun a little bit smoother. Now the Swamp Fox Red Dot, it's actually pretty cool. Got that circle dot, so there's dot in the middle and circle around it, and it's got little ticks like a uh, like crosshairs, and just kind of guides your eye right to the uh, the center. And uh, it's pretty bright out here, and I'm not on the highest setting, and it's just fine. So the sling I modified a little bit. Normally it has a uh, a, a quick detach here, but I've already got a, this loop right here for my single point sling adapter. So I just ran like what I normally do, put a, a loop of 550 on there so it's attached here. And then the, uh, the sling I can go to, to single point on here or just keep it, keep it dual. Okay, so even in single point configuration, it held pretty good, no problems. Decent sling, I like it. That's not a bad little build. All right, so there you go. Again, this was a bog standard AR, you know, out of the box. So with the picks I made from the Tac Pack box we got the other day, you know, I'm actually really impressed with the uh, the quality of the uh, individual pieces. And honestly, all together, they made a pretty good shooter. And uh, we'll be putting this thing through its paces in uh, the next few days. We got a couple hundred rounds through it now and everything seems to be going good. So I'm kind of excited to see how this thing's gonna work. So, I mean, if you have any questions about any specific part and how I liked it, leave me a comment. And if you like this content, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.